Hey, man, let's go back uh, a couple of decades, eons, back when the dinosaurs were still roaming the earth and you were a young child growing up in Strong Island. What got you hooked on the business of pro wrestling? I needed a job. I grew up in Brooklyn City, so I was never, like, a huge fan. You know, I would watch wrestling, and, like, you know, we didn't get much, like, you know, uh, old school, like, Florida Championship Wrestling or Georgia or NWA. All we got was WWF back then, so... You know, as a kid from New York, you know, I was always a fan of, like, Bruno, Bruno Sammartino and stuff like that, because that's all we ever really saw. But I wasn't, like, a diehard wrestler fan. I'm not going to sit here and bullshit you. You know, I was always a fan of it, but I never was like, I want to be a pro wrestler type guy. That just wasn't my, my deal. I was in college, I was playing football and, and all this stuff, and then I just, you know, I wasn't going to class. I was being a knucklehead, you know, and, and I needed a job, and I was bouncing at a bar, and I was doing, like, all odds and end jobs and construction jobs, and my father was like, yeah, it's going to get a job, but you're getting thrown out of this house, you know, so <laughs> it, it, that's true. So he knew a guy that was training people to be pro wrestler, and, and, you know, and I borrowed the money from my girlfriend back then and her brother, who's now my wife, you know, and the uh, rest is history. So I got trained by, you know, a guy named uh, Johnny Rods, unpredictable Johnny Rods in Brooklyn, and it was the hardest thing I ever did, bro. I mean, you know, being short as fuck, I mean, five foot eight, you know, everybody told me you're never going to make it, you just not big enough, and, and the more people would tell me you're not big enough, the more pissed off I'd get, you know, and I would say, listen, I might not be tall enough, but I'm definitely big enough, you know, so, you know, that motivated me, you know, but that's how it started off, I wasn't a huge fan, I really needed a job, and I just thought that I was going to make a million dollars right away, and as you know, that shit don't happen. So then, and, and then two questions, and uh, uh, you borrowed the money from your future wife, and what did the school right. cost you, how much money? Oh, uh, shit, man. I think it was probably $2,500, which back then was a plethora of money. You know, that was like, oh, my God, I couldn't even fathom. And I, and I, I don't, shit, I don't think I paid them back yet, but we're working on that. You know? 